are interrupting this show for a special report. Because now it is time for Bag Lab. Yay. So um, if you're not familiar with Bag Lab, um, I collect some of your questions via email. Um, by the way, instructions on how to submit your own question is in the description in case you have a burning bag related question that you'd like me to answer. And because I get the questions beforehand, I'm able to prepare an answer in greater detail. So tonight's question comes from Shelby and Shelby says, Hi Sarah, I have been looking for a bag I can make for my granddaughter as a small going to grand's bag. So basically an overnight bag for um, a little one. Do you have a specific pattern you feel would work well for this? It can be a backpack or small duffel. I like the design of the tortoise bag. Which size do you think would work best for a three to five year old? Or would you recommend a different pattern? Thanks in advance for your advice and I have enjoyed watching Social Sundays and Bag Lab. By the way, bags for the littles might be a good bag lab suggestion. Becoming a gran is what has gotten me back into sewing and I am loving sewing all kinds of bags for toys using all different types of closures to help her little fingers learn new tricks. Thanks, Shelby. Well, Shelby, I pulled a few bag samples, some of them from the basement and one of them is Violet's personal bag. Um, so I'll start with your, you mentioned the tortoise bag in your email, so I'll start with that one. I have, oh no. <laughs> Got hooked up on my notions and my notion cup. Um, so this is the tortoise bag. This is size medium and I thought, is everything okay? Yeah, did you know you had another tortoise bag right there? Yeah, that I, one's my favorite. I realized that after I pulled this one out of the basement. Um, um, but this is medium, and I think this would be good. Size large is quite a bit taller and bigger. Um, I know medium is sort of on the smaller side as far as packing clothes, but I thought I was trying to picture a three to five year old for all of these bag samples that I brought um, on set, and I. I'm just trying to choose bags that aren't too large to o really overwhelm their little bodies when they're carrying them. So um, this is tortoise bag size medium, which I thought would be a good size if you decided to go with that particular bag. Um, I also pulled, this is my original <laughs> coalition bag. Um, the coalition bag comes in two different sizes. This is the handbag size and the duffel size is quite large. Um, I know you haven't seen that one in a while, but do you remember it? Yeah, it's the, the gray. gray foiled one I used to have on set. Mm -hmm. um, the reason I thought this size would be better for a three to five year old is again, trying to think about bags. That's too big in my personal opinion. For a three to five year old? Yep. Oh, okay. Three to five well, year old's a small person. I know, but I was thinking for an overnight bag. So they have to put clothes, maybe a little stuffed animal in there. Okay, that one I can get, but it might be big for them to carry. Yeah, it might be. Um, let me show you one more bag before I show you Violet's little backpack. So um, this is the Tudor bag. And the reason that I pulled this one is because when the kids were little, I would say maybe kindergarten age around there, I made them each a Tudor bag and they used them all the time. They would use the, the side crossbody strap and they would put... When we would go to my grandma's house, they would put uh, toys, um, Nerf guns, games, books. That was a great bag for that. Whatever they would put in there. So again, I know it's on the larger size, but from personal experience, my kids did use this particular pattern uh, for carrying their stuff. And this is a beginner-friendly pattern, so um, good choice if you maybe haven't sewn a bag or haven't sewn too many bags. And the, fir the fourth bag that I pulled is... A well-used... A well-used Cumberland backpack. This is Violet's personal backpack um, in Minnie and Mickey fabric. And William had one same size in Donkey Kong fabric. So the Cumberland backpack comes in size small and size large. This is size small. Um, really great for a three to five year old. Not as roomy as some of those other bags that I showed, but we took these to Disney. I mean, when we would ride bikes, they would put put things inside. I personally use this size for sort of like a summer purse style bag. So um, hopefully out of those four bags, um, one of those will sort of ring a bell again. I was trying to choose bags for three to five year olds. So little small people. And did you have a small park sling by chance? Um, I do, but uh, that seemed like it'd be even I don't smaller. know. I kind of liked the Cumberland backpack better. Oh, 
You have one picture that I sent you earlier that I wanted to put up on the screen. Um, I don't have a physical sample to show you just yet because I'm still working on them, but Danny's going to put a picture on the screen. Um, these were made by Sheriff Fit Buddy, and this is one of my new patterns coming out on May 8th. This is the Marlin backpack, and can you leave the picture up on the screen for just another second you more? keep talking about it. Oh, excellent. <laughs> So the thing I love about this backpack is, uh, I know it's not showing up in the photos, but the front of the backpack is, if you've made either the Connemara pouch or the Zeppelin pouch, the front of the backpack is actually, not counting the zippered pocket, sort of three-dimensional origami, like it's one piece with wings and I sort of sew it together, like I said, in the similar style as the Zeppelin pouch. So um, the Marlin backpack comes in two different sizes. And while I'm talking about the, the Marlin backpack, um, the new four-pack bundle, four-pack video bundle comes out on, we decided to release it on May 8th. Um, so I'll be showing sneak previews the next two Sundays. So you'll want to stay tuned for the next two social Sundays, and then it will come out on May 8th. So I'll share two sneak peeks next Sunday, and then two more the following Sunday. Um, I think I kind of talked about the style of the bags previously. By the way, I should mention, um, even though the four pack video bundle will be available for $40 for the four patterns, um, I, the patterns will be available individually at the same time. So if you're only interested in just say one of the patterns, you can buy uh, it separately. Um, we're wrapping up the videos right now and it'll be a crossbody bag, sort of a, I don't wanna say small cause it's not, it's not technically small, I guess a medium size, medium to small sized crossbody, a large shoulder bag, that backpack that I just shared, the Marlin backpack, and a wallet. So I'm, out of all of those, I'm proud of all of those, but I'm particularly proud of the wallet because um, I don't design a lot of small projects and this particular wallet has a lot of details in it, in my opinion, and so um, I don't know, I just, when I was even halfway writing the pattern, I felt a little bit unsure about it. And, um, but now everything's come together and I'm really proud and excited about the wallet pattern. So I'm excited to share the sneak peeks um, in the upcoming two Sunday shows. Um, which is your favorite out of the four projects? Hmm. I only remember three out of the four. Because <laughs> uh, a couple have been for a while. Um, and I did see all your guys' questions. Oh, you know what? Um, it's gotta be the backpack. The backpack is your favorite? Yep. Yeah, the backpack. You wanna put the picture up one more time? Is that what 